Hello everybody, we're back with another Fusion 360 tutorial. This one's actually a kind of a unique one, and frankly, I am i don't have a good specific example where this would be useful, but because of what it does, I know it will be very useful for a lot of you. Sketches are super important in 3D modeling. You have to have a sketch at some point to really transfer position into modeling. And so whenever you can find a way to extract a, a sketch or create a sketch, it's very, very valuable. And that's what we actually have today. Today, we have a little Lego guy. And as you can see, it's actually a mesh. It's not a, a, a solid body. Um, and that's actually very important because for this feature, we we'll drop down the create. It's down at the bottom. It says create mesh section sketch. So we'll click on that. It's going to ask us to select a mesh body, and it has to be a mesh body. And you can see it's right away, it's giving you a cross-section outline of the part, which is really, really cool. And you can also see you have the different toggle and the translate arrows, as well as a pan. I'm not really sure the purpose of the pan um, in this case, because just have a plane set up. Um, but let's just actually drop a couple of these, just kind of play around with it. So we'll click OK. And we'll do it again. Let's go over a little bit more. Yeah. We'll do it four times. Last time. All right. Yeah, that'll work. Now when we make the body disappear, you can see We've just created these sketches of the cross sections of this mesh. I Again, I think this is just so useful. You would be able to do so many different things when you can auto-generate sketches, and especially sketches that are going to match and fit a specific item. Uh, so that is really, really useful, really cool. I think it's also just kind of fun. Like you could do a lot of these just little cross sections and make kind of a fun image. Um, laser cutting, if you do any laser cutting, uh, it could be very, very useful, especially in a situation like that. Um, so yeah, if you have any ideas uh, beyond that of like what you would use this feature for, I would really love to, to hear them. Please leave a comment down below. If you found this useful, hit that like button. And as always, keep on modeling, and I'll see you guys next time.